So Vue is getting a new experimental compilation strategy, and I think it's something that we really should pay attention to. So there's something out there called Vue Vapor, and it's a brand new compilation strategy, but I thought I would take a look at it and see what kind of updates it has. Can I use it today? What does it do? So let's talk about it. I found this handy dandy blog article called Vue 3 Vapor Mode News. It's a great blog post by Icarus.gk and in it he talks about kind of the history of the vapor mode and at the bottom it has links to it and so really it was been it's been talked about since maybe January 1st 2023 when there was a 2022 year in review so it's been a little bit of time probably I guess it'd be a year and a half at this point point. and so what this is Evan Yu describes it in a nutshell and this is from the state of view last year and I'm pulling this from the view master YouTube channel that it's a new compilation strategy it has the same templates, it's more performant output, and it has this template clone plus pre pre precise binding. So it uses something close to what SvelteKit does and its compilation strategy. It no longer uses the VDOM to compile. So as I was looking into this, I noticed in the State of Union address that Evan Yu gave about eight months ago, he mentions that this new compilation strategy has four pieces and that the first part was runtime for four for core features, and that would give us some things like support core directives, like VFs and, and V model and things like that. And then it has some other assumptions, and that's where he said eight months ago we were at. And then the second stage was more compiler for core features, and that would allow us to actually output this vapor mode. And it's worth noting, uh, as I was researching this vapor mode, this is not going to be a breaking change, so it doesn't so you don't have to worry about breaking your app or anything like that. There seems to be two ways that people are going to be able to use this. One is you can actually add .vapor.view to your view files to add this in. And the next way is you can actually have your whole app mounted in vapor mode. And I guess the idea is that this is going to be like an incremental change that's going to be appear in some later version of Vue.js and you're going to have you're going to be able to add this option and it's going to be one of those things where you might have it incrementally adopted so you might have half your app using the old compilation strategy using vdom and then the new and maybe another part of the app with some of your components using vapor as far as i can tell like i said it's not going to have any breaking features so it should be something you can just add in at some point. It should be interoperated with the VDOM component. So if you want to use any library that uses virtual DOM, like VDefy, Vapor Mode, we'll still be able to support it. So I feel like once this comes out, I don't see a reason why you wouldn't want to use it unless there's some compatibility issues. There has been talk, and I was looking at the official GitHub repository, that they may drop the options API and may only support the composition API, but that hasn't been decided yet. It may support both, we don't know. But you can take a look at it right now. It is not available in your latest view as of this recording. So if you're watching this, you can't use it right now, but there is a Vapor Playground. If you click on the Vapor Playground, it'll bring up the SFC Playground and it kind of gives you a basic Hello World app that you which works as you expect it. But what's really interesting is if you click the little JS button, you kind of see what's happening underneath the covers here. So now you can see here that we have, this is with vapor mode on. And if you click this button, you can turn it off. And you see with vapor mode off, you have these V nodes. So if we look for V nodes, we have create element V nodes. It's kind of this virtual DOM way of creating our app. However, if we turn vapor mode on, we have now these templates. We have this underscore template, which is getting imported in from Vapor. And now you can, every part of your DOM is being compiled into these templates. And then you have this render function and you have this with directives, you have these delegates. I think in this example, you don't really see it. I think it's a probably about the same amount of code, but you can imagine if you have larger, larger components that you will save memory and space. It'll be a smaller bundle size, but this will, should be more performant for you as well. We're not using any virtual DOM. When it renders it, it can render it more efficiently because it's not using that VDOM. A great video on this, if you wanna kinda of get a little bit more into the the weeds of vapor mode. I found this video. I'll put a link in the description. It's from Lachlan Miller. And he talks a lot about some of the speed improvements that you should get from vapor mode, including the smaller bundle size, the faster rendering speed. But I'll let you watch this video if you guys are interested more in that.
I kind of hinted at this in the beginning when we talked about how long and how far this project has gone. I, if I'm looking here, so now we definitely have a playground for vapor mode. So I believe we are, according to Evan Yu, in this stage two, I think, for compiler for core features. We're definitely not in stage three, which is the integration part where they're having tooling support for standalone vapor apps. If you are using Vapor in any other way, please leave a comment below and let me know if you've seen any tools that use Vapor. Also kind of looking at this project itself, I, I'm looking at the last few closed issues in here and a lot of them have to do with like testing, adding in vModel directives. So I feel like they're still pretty early on, on this project, even from eight months ago from the video from Evan Yu. I feel like they do have quite a bit more to do. I wouldn't expect vapor mode to be up and running until maybe the end of the year to maybe even see it inside one of our view apps. Maybe it'll come out in 3.5 or later. So I think it's definitely has a long way to go still, but I'm super excited if this is something that I can just start turning on in my existing view apps and start using this dot vapor in the file name or having the whole app using vapor mode. I think that's going to be a huge win. We're just going to have to see what happens if this is going to be more of a, if this is going to have some maybe things that it won't work with, like the options API, we'll have to see if that's what's happening. But I just want to kind of give you guys an update on it. It is coming along. I think it is going pretty slowly, but I'm super excited. Leave a comment below what you think of vapor mode. Thanks.